Hey everybody, uh, thanks for sticking with us when we were over there at the Free, uh, Free Street, I guess they're the Free Street Bar and Grill Cavern. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. That was a gentleman named Anthony. I forgot his last name, but he's a part of the group. He's still playing there, but please don't go over there until you watch a little bit more of our show because we actually have a great hip-hop arter, bl artist, Bliss to Chrome, uh, young guy. Uh, he's going to play a couple of songs for us, but let's hear one of his first songs now. Then we'll sit down and talk about what it's like to be a high school student and a rapper as well. Uh, so Bliss to Chrome is going to take it away. Go for it, my friend. The weather be like zero, northeast sister. I'ma kiss your mother. The A and S bitches, they always be the bummest. I stay away from judgment, cause people just like talking. Invest into me now, before I fucking rock it. I used to care, but fuck it. You ain't even discussion. No, no, no. Bitches love their problems public. I don't even I don't want it. Want if you want it, couldn't flaunt it. That's why I flex my shit. Not about no necklace, bitch. Not just about presidents and cashing all these checks, but checking on my Grammy to make sure that she set and has a place to rest. I'll be honest, I've been stressed. God, please hear my breath. I've been working every night. To get my grandkids right, SF on my back, I'ma get attacked. My stock high as fuck, that diamond level nut. My swimmers can't get touched, unless you're a foreign bitch. Yeah, these US bitches, uh, my JDM whip tough. If I'ma keep a buck, you all be lame as fuck. This rap game turned around. Yeah. When well, S got stopped too early You know I'm squeaky pearly With my aura straight from Mercury I'm shining like a diamond It's a matter of the timing Before I make it big I know you got your doubts I turn them to regrets Keep my name in your mouth That shit just be free promo Can never get enough ho From wearing fake ass polo To go your LV duffels I played my cards and shuffled You know I never buckle Pressure be my thriving point Headphones blocking all the noise How you say I'm not the chosen God been blessing boys since birth And ever since I prayed I'm perfect Spitting shit since I was nursing Fuck you scared of Closing curtains, winding out my head be hurting. Keep it real, y'all be fake. Ain't no hiding now, hold it down. For my boys, we gotta make it now. We got dreams and ambitions. They're more than just a mission. It's the reason God keeps giving. It's my reason to keep living. Hello again. Hello. I always say hello. I'm back. Me and Alex, which is the real name of Bliss to Chrome, we're chilling. Is that what the young people say nowadays? We're chilling? Chilling. Yeah, yeah. chilling out. We're chilling like villains. I'm not that old. Uh, I'm a generation of the Beastie Boys, right. guys like that from the 80s. But anyways, uh, Mr. Savage, let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with you. Uh, we heard the song. We're going to hear a second song soon. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, now, you're actually still in high school. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Senior, senior in high school yeah. at DeCasco Casco High School. Bay, yeah. Casco Bay. Yeah. Um, do you like it there? It's pretty. I, lo I like it a lot, actually. Sure. Teachers are great. And there's yeah. a big music scene at the school. So, so is, that, is that like a, uh, we'll delve into a little more different things, but I am curious about it. Performing arts school kind of in a sense? Or yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't like made for that, but that it te that's kind of become the audience. And is that up on the East End? It's uh, it's near Riverton. Okay. Area. Yeah, yeah, a little out of yeah. town that way. Yeah. Um, so, do you do at that school? Are you uh, invested in the arts quite a bit? Do you do, you do a lot of things yeah, there? I mean, yeah. I mean, I do some. I don't think I've ever really performed there, but I've done announcements about my music there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, but is that a, a school that's focused a little more on like painting and doing things? That's yeah, yeah, definitely, thought, right? definitely. Um, so, what year, how old were you? I always like to kind of rewind the tape. Uh, when did you first start 
uh, rapping or were you doing other uh, instruments or yeah? I started playing piano when I was like six. Okay. Or six. Um, and then I played piano for a long time and then it turned into singing. And I sang ever since I was around the same age when I was really little. And then um, I've always been like, like to be creative, like without any like boundaries or like any anybody telling me exactly how to create. So I kind of transferred into making my own music and it started with just like songwriting. And then as I got older, I started like learning how to use the technology and the software. And then I'd say about freshman to sophomore year of high school, I started putting out my own music. And did you start out by really writing a lot of stuff that was very personal to yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, go like, I still do to this day, but I always had, like, a notebook that I brought with me. So, right, right, right. Yeah, that's Coming right. up with things and, yeah, yeah. and thoughts and stuff. I mean, this is an angsty time for everybody in their lives because yeah, right. there's a lot of things to figure out. And so yeah. um, I think you're, you're, you're graduating. You're making a move. Is that, is that what I hear? Yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Have you been there before? Or uh, is this no. your first time to check no, it out? It's going to be my first time, yeah. And uh, do you want to pursue music full time there? Or is yeah, that kind of the Yeah, that's, yeah. that's why I'm, I'm moving with my friend, Yokai Paul. He's on the last uh, interview that I did here, but he um, he's coming with me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, are you guys flying out there? Are you doing a road trip? How's it going? Uh, we're probably going to fly out there. I was. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. I'm probably yeah, just, right. yeah, I don't know if road tripping is the Road tripping, yeah, it's not the, the same as it was. Yeah. And it's a good flight. Um, is that going to be like in, in the fall, or are you thinking of doing that like soon in the summer? Uh, it's going to be early August. Early August. Yeah. So um, tell us about the new album that you got coming up and the new songs and things like uh, that. Oh, yeah, uh, I, that, that was one of them. Yep. I actually, like, I've, like, re- um, Re, I've changed the date of when the album was going to come out like four times now because I've remade the album like four yeah. times already. So I have like probably like 45 songs that are just sitting on my computer that I didn't think were like good enough to be on that weren't good enough the to album. So I've like remade it a bunch of times. And so like I've, I think it's really perfected. That's why that performance was kind of rough. Like I don't even like know the lyrics yet, but it's for fun. And all. like but, It sounded great in yeah. there. But I mean, you're always working on new stuff. Yeah. What's the what is the kind of hip hop scene in Portland? I mean, I feel like uh, it's it's they've been trying for a long time. But yeah, it, it's, yeah. You feel um, like it's got there yet, or it needs? I mean, more? it's like it's getting carried by the youth. Obviously, I feel like right now. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for it to like become way bigger than it is because it's already. I feel like there's a solid foundation right now because. Um, at least a lot of people in my grade or my that are in my class of 2023 they like most of them love rap music so right it's it's never gone out of style yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it, i mean i really feel like the technology has changed so much that it was really not something that probably guys at my age when i was your age could do we didn't really have yeah. our computers were doing like ones and zeros i got my one of my directors out here he's not and because back in our day we were doing like a little pong coin back yeah. and forth and things and Super Mario Brothers was high tech. But nowadays, I mean, you could do a lot of stuff. So are you doing your own beats a lot too or? Yeah, yeah. I produce a lot of my, on this new album I produced um, about all of them, but Yokai Apollo that I'm with, who I've been making music with, he's, he, he started as a producer and he's been like killing it with producing music. He's like, that's like his thing. And he also puts out music and he's gotten big numbers recently too. So we're kind of like both helping each other and produce for each other and. Yeah, and I, I saw a special, like a documentary about Kanye West. Yeah. And he was producing for a lot of people and they didn't really think he could be the, the front man, but mm -hmm. it's so needed, it seems like, right? That guy is a yeah, really yeah, good yeah. producer and it's creative and comes up with stuff. Yeah, usually when you produce, you learn how to engineer and master and like that stuff that you need to be able to have a good grasp on, to be able to put out like decent sounding music. And do you use Pro Tools or that type uh, of thing? I use FL you? Studio. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I've I've used Pro Tools and Ableton. I've been all over the place with it, but I, I mainly use FL Studios. And so uh, just a couple more questions for you, and then we'll probably see if you could do one more song for us. Um, like, what, what do you find that your lyrics are often about? Are they a lot of times about what's going on in your life or um, just having fun or... Yeah, I'd say I'd say I I try to make my lyrics as meaningful as possible and I take time on them. So like a lot of my lyrics will be either talking about something that's been going on that's going to happen or 
something that you know people wouldn't know unless they listen to the music and like listen to the lyrics. Right, right. Yeah. And at at uh, eighteen years old, it's I mean it's kind of a, a difficult time, right? You yeah. Kinda get, it's like you got a lot of things, and and you, you ever feel like uh, for guys, the guy who works with us, a couple of them, they're they're your age. Was this past couple of years particularly traumatizing or just difficult, or was it kind of just like a weird because of COVID? Yeah, weird time off or something. I mean, honestly, like I was like, I was chilling. You just didn't care. Yeah, yeah I was. I was right. in my room making music all day. Yeah, I think that a lot of these parents have made it seem like, oh man, it was so hard on these kids. But I mean, yeah. I mean, when I was your age, I didn't like going to school. Yeah. So I mean, I guess if you don't have to. It's nah, kind of a that, better thing. You can like see the effects of it socially, but like yes, yeah. You know, but, you know. And do you feel like that's? Uh, I mean, you seem like an outgoing guy. Do you feel like uh, that's happening more and more with people your age that they're becoming almost more autistic in a sense of <laughs> socially? You know, I mean, basically, yeah. They, you know, they they can't deal with things outside of their phone. Uh, yeah. I mean, people have I definitely mean, showed that. Yeah. I mean, I'd say people are like more introverted. Introverted. I don't yes. know. About it. Yeah, well, it's... I mean, yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, it's yeah. basically the idea that it's like right yeah. now uh, they're not able to socially interact with people on, on that same level. But do you feel like that's right. something that really got lost in that couple of years or...? I mean, when it's like a... When it's a thing that happened to a mass amount of people, it almost becomes like a new norm. So it's easy, to, it's easy for people to kind of... Um, See that it's just kind See of the writing on the wall in a way. Or yeah, something. it's kind. Of, it's kind of like everyone has. I mean, we you got to deal with it. Everyone dealt with it, so it's like everyone's kind of in the same boat. In the same boat. So, what's the next song that you're going to do for us? Is that the one that was on your last album, or uh, that that? One? that one right there is unreleased? That, that one was unreleased. Yeah, this one, this one I'm doing is called Nip Nipsey Hustle. It's like Nipsey uh, Hustle, named right. after a guy that's inspired me. But like, um, it Very probably well. came out like a year a year ago. Um, and so like, I'm going to try and remember how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you'll do okay. Yeah. Uh, but Nipsey Hussle, I mean, he was, uh, died not so long ago. I know that was a big, big thing, but he did a lot for the community and was well yeah, known. I like, I'm, I just inspired by his work ethic. Yeah. Is why. Right. That was the thing. Well, uh, we'll get you up there. Are we going to, uh, we got, I think a, one or two minutes to talk a little bit. Uh, my director's saying we got another couple minutes. Talk to the audience out there. What is there anything else that you wanted to kind of talk about? Uh, We're a pretty loose show here. Loose show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say I got a music video coming out. Okay. On, yeah. uh, this Wednesday. Nice. Um, yeah. Shot. Usually I have a Joe Mashudu who was here with us last, but he's, he's in mass right now and he hasn't been around. So me and Yokai shot it and we edited it. It took like two weeks, but uh, we put a lot of work into it and... Uh, I just also want to say, like, I made a, I had to make, when I changed my name, it used to be Zuko Kickass. When I changed it from that to Bliss to Chrome, I, on distribution platforms, you have to make whole new accounts and whole new platforms for everything. And, like, I've, like, grown an insane rate, like, super fast on the platforms, and I've been, like, super grateful for that. And I, uh, a little birdie in the booth told me that uh, you kind of switched your style to more melodic a little yeah. bit. Is that something that's been going on? Or? Like, I've been experimenting because I don't think there's much longevity in an artist that can only do one thing. So, like, I've been trying to reach um, a broader audience with going more melodic, but also keeping more boom bap style. So, on my album that's coming out on Sunday, I'm like... I've merged boom bap and melodic into one album. And if we have a second before, because I'm always the guy who wants to know, what is boom bap? Is that that's a so that's more you're saying that's more rhythmic it's, or something uh, than melodic? It's, maybe? I mean melodic. I mean they're both rhythmic. I'd say boom bap. Um, it's more about the style and the beat style and the rhythm style. There's more. It's more drum. I mean, it's more drum focused. It's more. It's a more classic sound. Classic rap sound. Yeah. Melodic can be, you can get in the R&B a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and it's more experimental. I mean, that's where the new genres come from, but like, I still love Boom Bap the most, so. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing another song from you. Yeah. I know we're getting ready to, I think, do a commercial, yeah. and then we'll set you up to do another song and, uh, and see how that goes, yeah. Right. So thanks a lot, Alex, thanks, I appreciate it. All right, thanks. we'll be right back, guys, thanks.
This is an old one. This is produced by Yokai Apollo, too, by the way. Just like, shout out, make sure he gets this. Apollo, who? Been counting my breaths, a shot to nip. Always been vocal, I never been lit. Been catching the train, can't wait for the blimp. Used to be broke, my mom and he rank. Can't go out of nothing, turn pain into something. I reeled the vision, the haters be tripping. No people broken, they caught up in sipping. Making it big for the home, that's a mission. Been caught up in pain, don't speak it in vain. I look at my head, it's not hitting the same. I only want love, don't care for a plane. Least of some mice, I don't want me in Jane. Look at my past, and it brought me some shame. Papa was dead, he ain't needing a cane. Was pouring outside, we sick in the rain. Needing my dreams, started itching the crave. I never imagined I'd make it this far Not where I wanna be, working it hard Shout out to God, deserving applause Trying to recoup from getting these scars Taking my chances, I pray to the stars Leaning the game, yeah, I'm doing my part Shout out my girl, got a beautiful heart Leaving a legacy, making a mark Come from the ace, I don't know me at all I am my friend and you want me to fall Always support when you needed a call Miss Triple S, yeah, I'm talking about jaw Holding the block, yeah, I guess kinda hard Missing my brothers, gone way too damn far Homies eat money, don't know where to start All in my own, y'all can look at the charts Yeah, this, this album, bro Really, like, Yokai Wouldn't be here without him And Joma Like, actually, good shot Starting at PMC Live, Channel 5. PMC Live, Channel 5. Ooh.